All right, so here's his uh, pamphlet deal, and we got one person, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then I make twelve. Let's go, Robert. All right, so I'm going to ask a question, and you don't actually have to answer, but you can So, um, 
he, he would just ask yes or no questions, and the left side could fully use language. Um, uh, so he asked them, you know, everything from, you know, what do you believe in? What, what religion are you? You know, what do you like pizza? Do you like ice cream? And you would get totally different answers from each side of the brain because they're disconnected and basically two independent people. Um, so this, this uh, opens the door for a lot of interesting research using the technology. Because his experiments weren't done with an imaging technique, we can't scientifically say that, you know, that's what's happening. We can only interpret. But there are new techniques um, that will allow us to show, you know, actually image what's going on there. And this guy, Andrew Anderson, um, has, uh, he's, been, he's been developing this machine learning algorithm to look at fMRI images and basically predict what someone is thinking about. It's not that, you know, broad. It, it can pick from 240 sentences and the person reads the sentence and it can look at the brain image and guess what sentence they're thinking of. And so that is a step towards kind of being able to interpret what's going on there. And you could apply that to this split brain um, by, you know, possibly uh, developing an algorithm which, you know, predicts, you know, uh, how well language is used or something. Uh, there's another technology called transcranial magnetic stimulation, which essentially just blasts the brain with really concentrated magnetic waves, and that, for the most part, takes down communication in that part of the brain. So they can target specific areas of the brain and and essentially shut the induced lesions is what they're called, and shut down that part of the brain temporarily. And he actually used this technique to. Uh, to uh, to improve to give people savant-like traits. So uh, um, he uh, he shut down part of the brain, and they were better able to guess cards better and recognize how many objects are on the screen at one time and. It could be used to shut down maybe the left or right hemisphere to then show what each hemisphere is doing. Um, in conclusion, uh, it's actually possible to have two people in in one body. In a sense, they if you have two independent hemispheres, you can have two independently thinking people sharing a body, and you wouldn't be able to tell them apart. Otherwise, I mean, they function normally, but. Uh, they actually are two independent people, and if you isolate each half by blinding one side, they will give you entirely different responses. Uh, thank you.